Hi, welcome to Car Kids. This is a hydraulic steering cylinder off of a Kubota L3010. Kubota L3010 hydraulic steering cylinder. It's a push pull, goes both ways. You got these end caps that are inside this thing. To get this cylinder apart, get this rod out, you take your vise, your clamp, and you squeeze this and this. Oh, great. You ran up my video. Great job. Okay. So you take this and you clamp it and it pushes this in there and it pushes this one in there. And then it allows you to see these rings. In order to see these rings, you take some spray, parts cleaner, and you spray in that cavity all around you. Then you'll see this ring. Kubota wanted anywhere between one hour and three hours to replace this, this kit, this seal and O-ring kit. And they wouldn't give us a definitive amount of time they would do it. It says between one and three hours. I'm going to show you why it's one and three hours. So anyways, this ring, I tried everything, known to man, every tool, nothing worked. I was trying to pry the end here with picks different sizes and I was breaking picks and twisting them and this and that and other screwdrivers, small screwdrivers that were bending, shafts were bending, nothing was working. And then I said, you know something? I'm gonna try this thing. This, Weeha. I don't know what it is, 260, I don't know what that means. Anyways, made in Germany. This thing is awesome. I grabbed about a half inch, three eighths to a half inch from this thing and I pried it out and it came out i mean it just easy came right out this ring is on this side too same thing but if you do it at the tip you're going to get nowhere you come in about a half inch or so three eighths and you can pry it right out with this thing this is a strong screwdriver thing's awesome anyways after that after i got these retaining rings off of there it was a matter of how do i get the rod out of the cylinder because you can bring this back and forth inside here but this cap would only go so far out and stop so far out and stop same thing over here so far out and stop so i had one of the car kid boys grab this cylinder with two of these i clamped one of these right here to make a handle on this side and then i clamped another one to make a handle on another side so he's holding on for dear life on this cylinder because i don't have a vice and then I grabbed this rod that had this end on there and I stuck a pipe through here. And then I, so what I did is I pulled real hard while my son pulled this way and it popped out. It popped this cap out finally. And then I took a rubber handle hammer and then I beat this cap out uh, and got that side out. And these are what, here they are. Oh man, come on. Right here. It's right here. One here, and they're identical. Right here. Right there, identical. All right. Popping out the seals. It gets one of these right here. That's the outside seal. That was damaged. That's why we're replacing this thing. And if you can see the new one there. The new one's there. So that goes in there. Before you do that, though, there's another internal one in there. Internal. Right there. And it is, looks like this. And it has a cavity inside there. If you look real closely, it has, it's not totally flat. It's got a, it's supposed to be flared, but this one's more. So you, you pop this one out and the inner side one out with this screwdriver. It comes right out. It's like really easy rubber plastic stuff. Comes right out. Even the inside one comes right out. And then you go back through this way. With the first one, you push this in there and you push it, pull it down in there, you, and you bring your finger up on the uh, back side. Put one of your fingers up on the back side right there to hold it in place, and then you just start pushing it down. And it goes right in, no problem, easy. And then same thing with this one too. I put it, same thing, came and went around the block with it, went in there, easy. So this one and this one, same thing. The seals are, on the, yeah, the seals are easy to put in. I uh, didn't have any problem whatsoever. Uh, let's see here. To get this, to get this piece off, we had to weld a three-quarter wrench onto the end of it. 
if you look at the end of your shaft, it'll be a square, not that much. Space on the square, about this much, and no matter what you put on there, it slips off. Pipe wrench, open end, whatever. We even took a, we even took electrical tape and taped this. Had a big, he used a whole roll of tape to tape the end off so it wouldn't slip off, and there's so much force applied to this end that it just pried the, it, it broke the, the steel. It pried the wrench off and broke the steel on this end, off the, the rod. But anyways, we welded it. Once we welded it and used uh, the uh, vise that's bolted to a 300 plus pound table, we took a four foot pry bar, put it on this thing, and pow, it came out. And then as we were trying to unscrew it, this is what happens from the set screws. It destroys the threads. So it was a it was a challenge to unscrew it the whole way. A lot of resistance. It also had thread lock inside. We're not gonna put thread lock back because of the screws. We're gonna put lubrication because the threads are messed up. You can get a tap and die set and fix it, but we're not going to. We're just gonna lube it up because it's got two set screws, one on each side. So, replace all the seals and O-rings. I'm still waiting on O-ring. Two O-rings, these outside ones. They didn't give us these outside O-rings. This one and this one. So we're going back to Kubota tomorrow to replace those. So sequence of events, you put this in here. You put, oh, you grind off, you grind the wrench off. So I'm gonna take a side grinder and grind this down until I get to that square piece where there will be no more weld left and I'll be able to take the wrench off. Once I accomplish that, then I can slide this in or put it in here. Doesn't matter, you get to the point. But anyways, put it back together. It's gonna to go, to 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 go together really easy. Put these retaining clips back on this side, on that right there and the other one right here, just like that. And then naturally when you push the rod back and forth, it'll, it'll push these caps out to the, to the ring. So they basically float. They basically float in there the whole time. That's it. That's the only thing holding these things in position is that are these little retainers. So that's it. So you put that and you screw this back in place. Uh, we believe that we'll be able to screw it back in place once we ungrind this. We'll be able to at least back it up with a pipe wrench or another wrench like this uh, without this turning. Do not put a, a pipe wrench on this shaft put nothing on this shaft because the seal comes all the way out here when it's activated and it goes all the way back in and comes all the way back out. So if you put a pipe wrench here, it'll leak and destroy that outer seal. Same thing here, it goes all the way to here and comes back all the way out. You'll see it when it's on the tractor. But L310 Kubota tractor, hydraulic steering cylinder. How to rebuild one without giving the dealership hundreds of dollars of your hard earned money. And get one of these things. This thing's awesome. Again, here it is. Whatever. I have no idea where this came from, but it's, it is a nice tool. And that's pretty much one of the only tools needed to, to do all the O-rings and seals. Easy. All right. Enjoy.